This video shows what you may do if you get the error match message on creating an ASP.NET Core Angular project. Node.js is required to build and run this project. So this is this depends when you create uh, or create or run an ASP.NET uh, Core application with integrated um, uh, SPA application as uh, with Angu Angular. So it says it, uh, clearly what you do. It says, okay, go to HTTPS uh, Node.js uh, org. That's what we do now. We say, okay, we start. We open the browser. We say, um, what did it say? Uh, node Node.js org. And you will see you get two uh, versions here. So you get the uh, recommend, uh, the LTS latest uh, version and then the current version. So this is, uh, I would normally recommend the LTS uh, for most users. Uh, depends on sometimes. Uh, that's the late, latest one uh, with new features. Let's take the new one. Why not? Always be a new one. So we say, okay, here the Node.js is running uh, MSI. Then you say, so you get always problems either on the left side or on the right side. So where is it? Uh, here it comes. It says here I have Node.js. I'm trying to install it. I say accept everything, accept everything. Then I say Node.js. I will run everything, core pack ma package manager, add to path. Yeah, that, that's also uh, important that you add the path uh, of Node.js um, in the environment path. Okay, so that's all what we need. Automatically install the necessary tools um, that will also install chocolatery. The script will pop up new window. Uh, some NPM modules need to be compiled. Oh, okay, let's do it. Why not? So Node.js is always necessary. You see, it needs a, a little bit of time. So Node.js has been successfully installed. Let's say finish. Now you will see a small script running there. You will say it will say uh, everything is okay. Push a push a, a key. So I push a key and push a key. Okay. It's in, it installs another one. So it's compiling now. We have Python 3. Point something uh, install 3.11. It's available based on your source. Mm. I don't need the uh, the Python, but it, since it's there, it's okay. Uh, version 3.11 is approved. Also okay. Uh, type enter to exit. Chocolate tree up here. See the lock for details. Yeah, okay. Type enter to exit. Yo, enter type. Or we type enter. Enter. So that's it. Um, and we close this one. We say, hey, now that the error is okay. And now we say run our ASP Angular application again. Maybe we have to close it once. <coughs> Python is installed, but we see no 
here's the node.js okay and this one is also there now now let's start our um, again to to create a new angular application go in there create a new project we take something with angular 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 let's say angular and now we see that we have the sp core with angular in, in inside and then we have a, a standalone type, typescript angular uh, project so it doesn't matter which we take we say next we say hey this is our new uh, uh, asp angular project 02 it says okay authentication type we don't need this one that's for the individual stuff it says it's creating bum, 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 bum. so here we are and now let's start still compiling here on the left side restoring projects so for this one it is running in the background so what you see now is now it's running launching spa proxy stuff now and in the background we see this uh, small server or servlet the proxy launch the spa site is running this page will automatically re automatically redirect and now we have it okay I see and uh, normally you don't need this res long response type it's always there <coughs> 